All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moz Boss Show. In today's episode, so continuing on my series of talking on games that failed. Game that I'm going to be talking about today is Battlefield 2042. Now, for those that have not know, they don't know of the uh, Battlefield series. Battlefield, I'm um, bro. When I tell you guys, let, let me just kind of tell y'all first my history of Battlefield and how the previous Battlefield games, when I tell you guys, like, that was some of the best work. Like, there, there ain't too many times where I'll give EA their credit when it comes to games. Battlefield, Battlefield, uh, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield Boar, Boar, 4, I don't know why I can't speak English today, but anyways, Battlefield 4, I'm telling you, some of the best war games of all time. You, there is nobody that can argue with me saying that, oh, Battlefield wasn't all that. No, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, 3, or Battlefield 3 and 4, there's no way possible. I'm trying to think of some other Battlefield games. 1 and 5 was all right, Hardline was all right. Um, I'm trying to think of some other, yeah, those were really the only, I did play a little bit of, uh, Bad Company 1, but it wasn't, like, a whole lot to where I could give you guys a legitimate opinion on the game and stuff, but, anyways, um, but from the little that I played, I was like, yeah, I can see why Bad Company 2 got created, because I was like, uh, playing 1, I'm like, oh yeah, I, you, you seen Bad Company, um, 1, and then it was like, okay, yeah, 2 is definitely gonna come out at some point in time, you know, so, but anyways, so the first Battlefield game that I ever played was Battlefield Bad Company 2. I ended up getting the game. It was like long after it had came out. They came out with all their DLCs and all that stuff. So it was the complete edition, I believe, that I had got. And yeah, I played that game, played the campaign, loved it, played the uh, uh, multiplayer. And that's what I was mainly playing. I right, bro, when I tell you it was me and it was a friend of mine, he played a lot of Battlefield. He was probably the only friend that I knew that sat down and played Battlefield and stuff. But me and him, we would go like freaking nights playing uh, the whole night playing Battlefield Bad Company 2, bro. Like we, so... How our party chats were set up back when I was in high school, like there would be a group of friends playing like Call of Duty or whatever, me and him be playing Battlefield nonstop. And I'm telling you, like, it, I think, I'm trying to think, I can't remember if any of my other friends, if they got involved in Battlefield, but nah, bro, it was like we were constantly playing Bad Company 2. Then uh, Battlefield 3 gets announced. The trailers was coming out, and oh my god, I was like, this is gonna be amazing. They got jets. I think they had helicopters in Bad Company 2, but they had, they added jets in, um, Bad, or Battlefield 3. So I was like, bruh, oh, this is going to be sick. Battlefield 3 comes out. I think that was the Battlefield where I remember I went to a student-led conference, you know, one of those, like, I'm pretty sure everybody remembers student-led conferences, you know, a teacher has set you up for making it seem like you're the most successful student in the classroom, and then out of nowhere, just want to downplay all the good things that they just said about you and stuff, so yeah, I remember, I, like, because, no, I, I didn't, you know, back when I was in high school, I, because I think, when did that game come out? Overall, I ain't had no job when I was in high school, I was relying on freaking lunch money and old video games to get me a video game that I wanted so anyways I went ahead had like a gang of games traded those games in um I think I got Battlefield 3 that same day I felt like I no, that's actually what it was it was funny because I came in I remember I went in there the other it was another day trying to trade in some games they didn't get a whole lot so I was like you know what bump all that I'll just wait on it right so anyways waited on it traded in some um, dumb games and some and, uh, yeah, I, so I do remember it was that day I did get, ba um, Battlefield 3 and stuff, and they had, like, a used version of it, which was, like, fifty four ninety nine, I believe, that's, I, bro, when I tell you guys, like, I was, I was into my games, I was into my games, bro, like, I remember prices for, uh, new, but, um, like, used video games, so, yeah, I was like, nah, bro, I'm getting a used copy, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be playing it at some point in time, I am going to be playing it, but, I know, I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to get it that day. I thought it was going to be on some stuff where I wasn't going to get nothing that day. Because, yeah, the teacher, it was this computer teacher where he, yeah, he was really trying to downplay me as a student. And I'm like, bro, you ain't speaking for all my classes. I'm like, if you, the way you making it seem, I'm the worst kid that then came into this school. I'm like, nah, man, student-led conferences, I'm telling you right now. Uh, it's one of those things where the day when I have kids, I'm going to be like, look, I already know what the business is with these student-led conferences. So as long 
long as you ain't fighting with the teacher. I get you gonna be a class clown. Just pass your classes. That's all I ask for. But they all like, oh, you are disruptive. You be talking or you like to laugh. I'm like, okay, that's literally me. So what do you expect? I'm like, so anyways, but went ahead, got it, came home, was playing the crap out of it and stuff. My friend, he had already had freaking level in battlefield three it took you some time to level up in that game but he was already leveled up no i remember this same friend he took the day off from school because he the thing is is this all right i don't i don't know if this is gonna sound racist or not but he he's he's asian he's a smart kid okay i, I feel like i'm complimenting him but i might be saying something that that's like you know racist almost but i feel like it's a compliment towards you know asian people they're smart so he, it wasn't like he graduated. So it wasn't like it was on some stuff where, oh, he was a kid that was slacking off. He needed that day. All right. Cause anyways, so I'm like, but I just, I felt like I needed to say that. Like he, he was, he was that kid that was like, okay, it makes sense why he's taking the day off and things, you know? So anyways, he took the day off when the game originally released, played it. Then by the time when me and him was playing it, I think I was just, cause I think that was the game where I was like, they start you off at level zero, not level one, level zero. Then you get to level one. So he's up, he's already at like level 20. And I'm like, bro, how did you, I'm just now getting, we done played like two, three games and I'm just now getting to level one. You're already at level 20. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> like, no, I'm telling you, he was a freaking, like, he, he might as well have been one of the, de uh, the developers. Like, no, bro was grinding in that game. So, anyways, play the crap ton of Battlefield 3. Battlefield 4 comes out not too long later. Play the crap ton of that. Um, didn't really play Heartline, but I did play some of it. Heartline, based off of what, of what I had played, I think if I wasn't in the content creating, I would really be into it. But the thing is, is that, um, with that game, it's like they play a lot of copyrighted music. So it's like, you know, I can't really, I gotta go back and check again. But I think like, yeah, they just let music just play and you can't turn it down, turn it off. And I'm like, if you guys go, the thing is this, if they ever remaster those games, come out with a streamer mode, bro. Uh, like have it where it's like streamers can play that game and i ain't gotta worry about copyrights and crap so but anyways then uh battlefield one and five came out played a little bit of those two they were okay then 2042 gets announced now i was thinking along the lines like oh we're getting battlefield three and four back bro like this is this is gonna be amazing you know it's like yeah it's like gonna be somewhat futuristic but this is gonna be amazing you know so anyways battlefield um 2042 gets announced um i'm waiting for it i'm like can't wait for this game buy it no story that's one of the main reasons why i love the battlefield games is for the story i played and beat battlefield um bad company 2 in that story i played and beat battlefield 3 i played and beat battlefield 4 got somewhat in uh battlefield hardline one and five but at some point in time i know i'm gonna make time for them games and get through them stories battlefield 2042 didn't have no story so i was like okay that right there in my opinion that's a bad start i don't understand why you guys don't have no story that that's something where i'm like bro that's one of the main reasons i feel that people play battlefield is for the story so no story didn't like it then the negative ratings now i did play multiplayer and i was like you know I, I was playing a little bit of that and i was like yeah multiplayer it's you know it's it's what you would expect in multiplayer you know i can't i can't uh take that away from uh battlefield and stuff but yeah multiplayer is decent but the ratings oh my god I have never seen a Battlefield game get bad ratings before. And so, yeah, I think a lot of people was, you know, there was like bugs that was going down with this game. There was a lot of issues. And then they're trying to make it into, and that's what I overall call Battlefield Bad Company, or not Bad Company, but Battlefield 2042, was that if this would have came out the same year as Call of Duty Black Ops 4, those games would have definitely, it, it just seems like two games that's competing for the, like that multiplayer only thing. Now, the one thing that they do have in Battlefield 2042 that I do like is that they kind of got like a practice mode where you're going up against um, a bunch of bots like on the maps and stuff. So I do like that. I do like that they have like a practice uh, mode type thing going on. But at the same time, I'm like, bruh, why not just have some, even if it's just small little missions, 
because there's like there's other modes that they have like they have a mode where i guess it was supposed to be people were saying it was like an escape from tarkov mode i played it didn't really get that feel it was just it was pretty what i would call it is a pvpve mode i don't know why everybody wants to say like because that's what tarkov in what category it's in but i'm like it plays nothing like escape from tarkov it's not you go spawn into a map and then you going like no you're pretty much killing people doing objectives and then going it, it might as well just be another mode multiplayer mode and stuff unless they change some things but it's not no um escape from tarkov just because it got pvpve type stuff going on so anyways i remember seeing that thinking it was going to be along those lines and i'm like it's really not it's just another multiplayer mode and stuff but i'm like that's yeah that's just it might as well have just been multiplayer i don't know why they put it in its own section but also, they don't really have a whole lot of multiplayer things in the game. Like, they got um, Conquest and Rush. I think they got Team Deathmatch, but I'm like, three modes? Oh, and then they got the one, um, so yeah, they, and then they got the PvPvE mode, and then they got, like, this uh, portal mode, where you can have, uh, like, Battlefield 1943, which was from, like, their arcade series, but um, Battlefield um, 1943 go up against battlefield 4 characters and i'm like i didn't sign up for this i i don't know what kind of battlefield game this is don't get me wrong all good modes but i didn't sign up for this you know this this was something that i was like i i could have possibly passed on this battlefield or at least gotten it while it was on sale because i don't think that game that game it'd be on sale a lot it's probably on sale right now and stuff i mean it was a pandemic game so yeah they got that game on on a massive sale right now so you can actually you could go on steam let's see what the ratings are for this game now if it's still in the negatives now i'm like yeah oh it's mixed now that's that's good i guess but but you can get the regular edition all the way up until the 20th for $12 pretty much. And then you can get the Elite Edition for $30. That's crazy. To me, that is some insane stuff. But let's see. So the ratings, they, they have been getting somewhat better. But there's still, there's still some newer ratings where it's like, nah, that people, people ain't really feeling this game. Let's see what this... So there's like cons. Most new maps are either uninspired or badly designed. Throwing a tornado into the map does not make it better. I thought the tornado stuff was kind of cool and things, but yeah, they oh, and then the season passes. See, here's the thing. Um, uh, like I had to say on why I personally believe that this game isn't all that good. Here's my own personal opinion. Now, for one, EA they like just doing cash grabs with their games nowadays. They like to put the bare minimum in gameplay, but put the full maximum into how much money we can make into this game, fam. Nobody asked for a season pass. I guarantee you, and I promise you, if EA, DICE, whoever, if they were to do a poll and they said, um, do you want to leave um, the season pass in or take the season pass out and just have it where you just got to grind for all the gear um, that's provided into the game. So, like, let's say for an example, they're like, okay, um, after this, uh, so pretty much you just uh, play the game and then you just grind for stuff. There are no season passes. There's no, oh, you got to play up until this date. And I know people, probably be thinking along the lines like okay well eventually everybody's gonna get to a point in time where they just um they complete the game and then there ain't nothing else to do okay then that's when they come out with a new game but i'm like there's to me there's no reason to have a season pass in that game and i'm like and the game started off in a horrible state you guys a season pass shouldn't even have been an idea for battlefield 2042 so season pass that that should have not been involved in the game no story you guys are known for creating stories in the games, even if it's just been like small little missions where it's like, okay, because the thing is like you have to understand that not everybody's going to want to play um, online. Now, I do like the like the practice online thing that they got. But at the same time, I'm like, bruh, I that shouldn't be the only single player option in the game. All the modes should have a single player option, even the portal mode, the PvPvE mode. You guys, should, even if it had been like some co-op missions or even like some solo missions where it's like, hey, uh, do this real quick. Go take this intel, transfer this person across the map, um, you know, steal these tanks, uh, blow up these cars. Like I'm saying, there's so many different possibilities that you guys could have did with the missions. So that's why I was like, yeah, you guys messed up with the single player stuff. 
but it, and then i'm trying to think yeah that's that's probably about it i didn't really care because i know people will probably say like the the futuristic compared to like um call of duty advanced warfare or infinite warfare that game wasn't really all that futuristic like i get like that i think that was supposed to be the idea of having it take place in 2042 but i'm like okay then it should have been some 2042 stuff going down some story things some something you know but it just felt like that that game was very empty like it's just a, like a, like another counter-strike type stuff you know but not but it's like yeah you know you just go in there and just do one thing and one thing only and then it's like oh there's like limited other modes but i'm like nah man games don't need to be like that games need to be available for all audiences that's i feel like if you're trying to attract the high potential of an audience you gotta put multiple things in that game you can't just put a little bit of um some things all right so but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.